Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. What a glorious day it is. So many things to be thankful for. There's a birthday in the back. I guess I'm not supposed to announce that. The Astros are off to a good start. Great start. I'll say great when they win a second series. <laughs> I've been fooled by that one before. 
But I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, and there's something else about today. What is it? Everybody's dressed up. Lori's about to jump out of her seat. But do you have the cotton tail to go with it? No. Okay, but you, 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 you sold cookies, so we'll forgive you anyways. It's Resurrection Sunday. A day fraught with meaning and mystery. With joy and celebration. With hope. JP and I were just talking a moment ago. This might be, I have to go back and check with our lovely, lovely clerk, record pandemic attendance this weekend. You think it's a record? It is. It is? That's official? It is. Between the two services with our limits, we could not, we have to have two services now. So I think it's great. I also think it's great because I know it's because the vaccinations are getting out there. As my wife said, me and my house are vaccinated. Say a small prayer for my wife. She's feeling the after effects of her second shot. So, but what a joy it is to gather on this day, which is not like any other day. This is Resurrection Sunday. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we gather here in this place, not at an empty tomb, but here where you are, amongst the living. We gather with joy and song. We gather in hope and expectation. Loving God, lift us up, encourage us and nourish us. Grant us the wisdom, the courage, and the desire to live abundant life found only in you. All this we pray in you. Amen. My friends, let us open our hearts, our minds, and our all to worshiping the living God.
I firmly believe that if death can be overcome, as it has by our Lord, the sins of humanity may also be overcome. Let us come before God, really confessing our sins, that we may freely receive his mercy. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we come to you with not a little trepidation. We come to confess that which we would rather hide. We come to admit we have fallen short of your law of love. On this Resurrection Sunday, as many of us will share in a feast with friends and family, many others will go hungry. While many of us will rejoice in life, others will struggle. While we live in peace, millions suffer in war and violence. All too often we turn away from the least, the lost, and the last, claiming ignorance or innocence, saying it's not my fault not my responsibility. How we forget to love our neighbors. Loving Lord, each of us here the past days, weeks, and months have turned from a neighbor, broken the bonds of relationship amongst ourselves, and in so doing, we have turned from you. Loving God, we come to you now, each of us, confessing our sins. Lord, hear us now as we silently pray. Lord Jesus, you have heard our confessions, and we eagerly seek your mercy. Plant in us new life, that we may rejoice in the here and the now, not just in ourselves, but sharing your love with all. All this we pray in your name. Amen. I'm going to ask a very crazy question. Can you trust me? I trust you to ask a crazy question. Was that the question? Yeah. Do you trust me? Sure. The tomb yes. is empty. I've seen it. And as certainly as that tomb is empty, so our sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Since God has forgiven us in Christ, let's do something brave and courageous. Let's forgive one another. As we seek to be an inclusive community built upon God's peace, love, kindness, patience, shalom. Let us greet one another. The peace of Christ be with you. And from our seats, the response is? My friends, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. It is. I've got to look at all four sections. <laughs> Would any of us like to say peace of Christ to the people watching this video? You ready, Hal? Yes. That's one of us. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God. We come to hear your word proclaimed, your word, told around campfires of old, handed down from the elders to the young ones, often verbally, more recently through the written word. 
Loving God, let it be more than words on our ears or ink on a page. Let your word be etched on our hearts, that we may live your law of love. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning comes from Psalm 118. Hear the word of the Lord. And remember, the Psalms were songs. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die but live. I will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely. But he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I know that my Redeemer lives, what joy the blessed assurance gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my everlasting head. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to plead for me above. He lives my hungry soul to his feet. He lives to help me in time of need. He lives and grants me daily breath. He lives and I shall conquer death. He lives my mansion to prepare. He lives to bring me safely there. He lives a glory to his name. He lives my Savior, still the same. What joy the blessed assurance gives. I know that my Redeemer 